these shoutouts. If you'd like a shoutout, just be sure to comment hashtag Promofox channel and turn on all your notifications, and you could be randomly selected to get a shoutout. So without further ado, let's just get on into this video. Hello, it is voiceover me once again. So this is like a mix of subtitles and voiceover, like I said, just because I had some cute ASMR footage and I just wanted to include that. But yeah, here's me just peeling off the lids of every single jelly gouache container. And I'm gonna tell you about my experience with it. So it wasn't like that bad at first, but then when I started like peeling open like a little bit of it, it would kind of give like a mini explosion of gouache, like all centered in that one spot, and then it was really hard to not get my hands in it. And I was also just kind of sad with the amount of gouache on the palettes, like not the palettes, what's it called, on the lids itself, because I wanted to use it, but like I can't like keep the lids forever. So I used it for swatching mainly, mainly. And yeah, that's just about it with the lids. I have to say that it was really, really satisfying to do because just like the sound of it in general and just the satisfaction of opening all the cups and then seeing them all laid out really nicely was just really fun. I also tried to include bits of ASMR where I could like add it for opening the containers itself. There was a lot of background noise for some of the clips though, so yeah. But the black and the dark blue cups were probably the hardest because I don't know why the gouache decided to be hard for those two cups specifically and just decide not to open, decide to get a lot on my hands. It, that was part was kind of annoying. Ooh, so here was the fun part. When I got the containers itself, I didn't really see like, a, like color order, so I decided to order it myself. And to be honest, that was really fun, just like putting all the cups into place in rainbow order. And it got like me thinking about the color selection and I really liked it. Okay, so here is where I swatch all the gouache. Uh, if you know me, I'm not the best painter, but uh, towards the end of this entire video i kind of realized how much i like gouache because of the similarities it has between acrylic and watercolor but i'll get to that later so swatching it i decided to first go ahead and just swatch the gouache without adding any water to it and then i decided to water it down bit by bit until it got like super watered down and a lot more pastel than its normal form and i think that really gave me a good like variety of color to each specific hue Oh, and if you kind of don't know exactly how gouache works, for a jelly gouache at least, it comes in these little tins and you can put some on your brush and if you just want that like, flat color, 
you can use that just straight from the tube and it'll kind of have a consistency of acrylic paint since it's not really watered down but you can also water down gouache and get a lot more watercolor -y effect so it's kind of like in between watercolor and acrylic paint i haven't swatched paint in a while i've swatched a lot of markers and pens and things like that but paint is not something i've done in a while so it's kind of hard for me to like figure out how to swatch paint again but i think i got a pretty decent like look to the entire swatching page i think that was probably my favorite page of this entire spread i also decided to do a blending test so i first decided to blend the two purples since they were pretty close to each other and then stupid me decided to blend complementary colors oh boy that was really bad it did not work out <laughs> it didn't look good i wasn't happy with it but yeah i added some cute little like you know doodly bits to the entire swatching page and then we moved on to actually painting i'm trying to make my videos more like interesting and aesthetic and fun to watch so i tried to switch up the camera angles it was hard it was not always satisfying but i hope this is like more interesting than my normal style of like speed paints or just things on my desk in general with traditional art so yeah i first decided to go full on and start with a sky like a sunsetty sky with clouds i probably should have started simpler because i kind of forgot how to paint i haven't painted in a while to be honest so i kind of like forgot what to do and this is a completely new medium so that wasn't great i first figured out that blending was a little bit harder than it looks it wasn't as like smooth as like people on tiktok make it seem but with a little bit more water and just a lot more like mixing my colors beforehand i think i got a blend that i really liked i did like notice that i was really like enjoying painting for me watercolors are stressful because you have to wait along and acrylic paints are stressful as well because they dry up really fast so my gouache was not drying up too fast but wasn't like letting me wait forever and ever and ever to have it dry. I did have to wait a little bit because I'm very impatient and that wasn't fun, but I still think it came out pretty good in the end. Okay, the clouds were a disaster. You know how I said like I couldn't wait? So I didn't wait until the whole thing dried. I learned my lesson throughout the other illustrations I did, but I just slapped some white on there and that did not work. And I kind of forgot that clouds weren't these big bulky shapes in the middle of the page and not as blocky as i made them to be they're more wispy so this looks really like forced and unnatural so i wasn't happy with this one like i like the colors and everything but i just wasn't happy with the entire like illustration as a whole so yeah not much to say about this one i didn't really like it uh i feel like if i went back and did it again now with the more experience i've had in gouache i think it would turn out better and also i had a bit more sense for the clouds if i were to do it now but yeah, it's not like I hate this one, it's just definitely my least favorite. Oh, and at first I watered down the paints a little bit before going in with the white, so it was really hard to control the white paint, so I needed to go over it with like multiple coats, so that's why you see me doing it so much. Ah, we move on to my next one, and this is probably my favorite one. I saw this thing on Pinterest of someone like painting lavender with gouache, and I just needed some inspiration of something that would be easier for me to paint with gouache, feeling kind of discouraged after the first one. So I decided to try and just copy it. I'm not taking credit for it, I just wanted to try out something with gouache that was a little bit simpler, and this was the idea that I found, so I decided to use it. All credits go to this artist, and I'll link the tiktok i found in the description so i started this with just a solid pink wash and then i went in with the lavender color to just make some blocky lavender shapes and then here was the fun part where i took my new brush and i just put a lot of purple and white on there trying to make it look like shadows had been cast and just make it look aesthetic in general and i think it turned out pretty well because this was my favorite one so yeah and this was the illustration where I kind of felt like gouache was my preferred painting medium because if you don't know me, I really suck with watercolors because they're just, I'm too impatient for them, they're hard to control, and I always mess them up. And acrylics, I'm just not happy with using them all the time, they just, like, they're not 
as fun for me to work with, but gouache was super fun. I got really nice textures. I love the colors that I used. I liked the consistency of it, and I just liked how I worked with it, and I can't wait to use gouache again after this illustration specifically. This was the one I was just like, I really like gouache. One of my sketchbook goals was to continue painting and I didn't think I would accomplish it because I never have motivation to work with acrylic paint and whenever I do have motivation to work with watercolor, it doesn't turn out how I want it. But I think I may start painting more when I use gouache. Oh, and I added like little white flowers kind of next to the lavender to kind of just break up the pink background a little bit. This last one was just something I wanted to do. I wanted to paint some strawberries just since I had extra space, didn't know what to paint, and decided to paint little itty baby strawberries. I messed this one up a little bit. Uh, it could have gone better, not just with my skill level, just in general, but I liked it more than the cloud one, so that's saying something. I really, really like that like strawberry color that I used. I really want to use it again, just because I think it's such a pretty color. Uh, I messed up on that like bottom right strawberry though, like I added too big of a seed and it looks like really out of place, and then I tried smudging it and that didn't work either. I liked adding the leaves though because I added like a little bit of light green highlight. You couldn't really see it, but that's kind of how I wanted it to be. They kind of wanted it to not be as obvious, and I think I kind of accomplished that well. the finished sketchbook spread. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Also, you guys, I want to thank you so, so much for anyone who sent me birthday fan art. It is literally so, so sweet of you guys, and I love every single one so, so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart again. It was just so sweet of all of you. And if I missed any of yours, please let me know. And yeah, just thank you for watching.